Tech Time Radio is brought to you today by Nutility, the platform that makes utility management seamless by selecting your service providers, splitting a single bill amongst roommates, and then shutting off your service when it's time for you to move out. Nutility reviews your preferences and sets up all the utilities for you. This provides you with the best local provider in your service area. It's much easier than splitting up your bills between roommates. No more late Larry not being able to get to you on time to make the payments, and no more Venmo charges or PayPal charges. One place to do your billing so that everybody pays on time. Now, how can you use this great service from Nutility, you ask? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, you can absolutely get it now and get three months for free. That's correct. If you go to Nutility.com, again, it kind of sounds like Utility, but it's Nutility.com. Use the tech code 3, and again, that's N-U-T-I-L-I-T-I.com. Get your first three months for free using the code TECH3. Coming to you from the shores of the Pacific Northwest, keeping you up to date on technology while enjoying a little whiskey on the side with leading edge topics along with special guests to navigate technology in a segmented stylized radio program. The information that will make you go, hmm, pull up a seat, raise a glass with our hosts as we spend the next hour talking about technology for the common person. Welcome to Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum. We would like to thank Podcorn for sponsoring this episode of Tech Time Radio. Explore sponsorship opportunities and start monetizing your podcast by signing up at podcorn.com forward slash podcasters. Let me tell you about Podcorn. Podcorn is an absolute must for any podcaster starting out. Now, when we started out Tech Time Radio, we started out in a back office with a couple of mics. We expanded to a studio, and then now, as you can see, we're on the radio and have distribution into other markets. Having the ability to have Podcorn at the start of our podcast would have been a dream come true. Guess what? With Podcorn, you now have the amazing opportunity for podcasts to receive sponsorship, such as host reads, interview segments, and topical discussions. With Podcorn, there's no middleman. Podcasters of all size can browse and choose opportunities right on their platform, set their own rates, and collaborate with brands directly without exclusivities. You never give up the rights of your podcast in Podcorn, and they're here to support you everywhere possible. Visit podcorn.com. Again, that's podcorn.com. Podcorn is a true success for those starting their podcast dreams. Mom. Good afternoon, Mr. Gorday. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing really well. Well, welcome to our live show. If you're watching us, we have our live stream in the studios from 4 to 5 p.m. on YouTube, Facebook, and of course our home radio station, KKNW 1150 AM. So if you go to KKNW 1150 AM, you can listen to us or watch us. So they've got both options. You could you could do both. You could listen to us and watch us. Or if you're listening to our podcast or replay of the show, make sure to visit techtimeradio.com to keep up with all the latest information. Tech Time Radio is a weekly one-hour technology show that talks about current technology in a simple format without having to geek out. We highlight top tech news for the week, along with segments that bring different perspectives and highlighted topics. Today on the show... We're going to do the best of the best from CES, the Consumer Electronics Show. We talked about it last week. Yep. And we have six fantastic guests that I've all met with, pre-did pre interviews with them, and we're excited to have each of them on the show today. They're going to be talking about their products, and, and we got the gamut. We got the best of the best. So we're really excited about this. We had about 50 to 60 interviews of people to, to do this, and we've picked these selections to be a part of our show today. So mm -hmm. very excited. And, of course, we are going to have our top stories in the first five minutes that we always get to so you can hear about your technology news. We've got some great information here. And if you have a technology question, make sure to jump on Twitter, hashtag Tech Time Radio or pound sign or waffle. Was, is that the other waffle thing? Waffle iron. Or waffle iron, Tech Time Radio <laughs> with a question. And you can always watch our live stream on Facebook and ask questions, and we'll answer those as quick as possible uh, live on the radio itself. Now... Get your phones and start tweeting away because you're going to have some great items that will come on up. And if you want to know questions about all of our CES people, we're going to put their links on the website underneath our true facts. So here we go. First thing, Mr. Gorday, we start out with our loaded question of the day. Yeah. Loaded what it, what question. What is it? It's, oh, I like two of these. Do I choose the hard one? or I'm going to choose the more common one. So uh, whose voice can you best 
imitate was the one I chose not to do. And I'm going to choose the common one, which is <laughs> what can make a person instantly popular? Really? Today? Is yeah, that? That's the thing. It's, uh, oh. yeah, I, I don't make them up. There it is right there. What, what, what can make a person <laughs> sitting in a folding chair on Inauguration Day? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that, Mr. Sanders is like the hottest thing right now on the internet. You see all those memes going well, around? Well, yeah, he's supposed to be sitting right here. That's I, I, We did. Because Tech Time Radio you, had a meme, too. Yeah, you memed me out. I did meme you out. I memed you out, and we had uh, <laughs> Bernie decide to be put in there. I, so. I feel like I feel like I, you know, should have some mittens or something. So you talk about popularity. Do you know that gal that made those mittens? She cannot sell she she sells uh, I imagine mittens. that she's gotten a lot of orders yes, for those. Yes, she has completely sold out and she has to decide That's another if, way to get popular is is give Bernie Sanders some mittens and have him sit. Do we need to get Bernie Sanders with, maybe with a Tech Time Radio hat? And then they could just sit, walk around with a Tech Time Radio. Do you think that'll help out? It's not inauguration day. It's so not, no, it's not going to help. Oh, darn it. I got to figure this out. This is one of those weird things. That, it it that had to just, be there at the just, minute. Yeah, right there. It's a synchronicity thing. All right. Well, we have, of course, our whiskey tastings during our commercials, and we'll select our whiskey. If it's a thumbs up or thumbs down, we'll talk about that after we come back from our first break. But let's immediately get into our top stories in the first five minutes. What's happening in the world of technology? This is our top stories in the first five minutes. Story number one, 6,000 Amazon (laughs) warehouse workers in Alabama called Bamazon Bamazon. are going to vote for unionization. Now, we talked about this just two weeks ago when Google decided to have their union. This is the dominoes falling, right? This is the dominoes falling. Essentially, Amazon's conglomerate would be the very first union for them. Mm -hmm. Uh, Most union votes votes consist of a few dozen to a few hundred Rarely thousands of people. They got six thousand people that want to unionize. Well, yeah, yeah. That, this is. I'm sure this has a lot to do with the past year. I'm sure it has. These are all. These are all production. Yeah, uh, these are delivery drivers. Delivery a lot. Drivers a lot of delivery drivers. Warehouse on. Yep. So in 2020, Amazon listed and then quickly removed a job opening to monitor employee <laughs> efforts for organizing against a union. How about that? Reported by Motherboard in September found that Amazon was using also a tool to monitor dozens of private and public social media groups to find drivers that were organizing strikes and protests. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny how nobody really learned from history. It, 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 by meaning? This has been going on since since the Industrial Revolution where yeah. companies have, have uh, done their thing. And then people have tried to organize, so the companies try to, and you're going to talk about yep, this in a yep, second. Yep. Companies try to bust that organization because they don't want their people to unionize. Why? Because the people they unionizing have, powers. They have, have power. They have power. All right. So social. So the social media monitoring tool and reported generated that were left exposed on the domain www shark. And Inc.com, so you can go take a look at it, which has no obvious ties to Amazon. The tool does not use traditional Amazon infrastructure, but the files and the reports left exposed have direct links to Amazon. And after this article was published, Amazon confirmed that the tool and surveillance point reports were generated by the company itself. So mm-hmm. they're using third-party tools mm-hmm. to spy on social media yep. against their employees. <laughs> According to the files, why are you laughing? Up, Wouldn't you? I, Would you do that? Uh, n- no, because I, 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 <laughs> I, I saw that. I saw that. Well, there's a little bit of a. Well, it depends See, how big I am. If, if I'm Amazon, I probably would have had a unionized uh, already taken care of as a part of my HR culture. So hopefully that would have been taken care of for drivers and See, that's that's people. a little forward thinking. I think. Why is that? Because you're not fighting it. You're you know if you're well, going for to, some people, I think it's fantastic. Again, like I said, yeah. my son. Uh, worked at Boeing. Absolutely, his job that he did, he he helped pull out parts and put parts sure. back in. Absolutely, should be unionized, right? It's, yeah. it, it's a job that almost anybody could do, and so well, you want to respect the people that are working there and make sure that they get paid. The reason fairly. why these exist is because of these companies taking advantage of their workers. Do you know what's even interesting? In November, reports surface showing Amazon has also hired the infamous Pinkerton spies to monitor European worker labor union efforts. Yeah, you know what's funny about that? What's that? The Pinkerton started in America in the 1850s yeah. and was the precursor to the Secret Service. Really? I did not know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, they were Abe Lincoln's bodyguards after they thwarted an assassination attempt. I guess it didn't work out too well later, but 
So they uh, they helped the first assassination attempts, not the second or third one. They they became his personal bodyguards after they thwarted a an attempt on his life. Well, here's going to be interesting. The ballot will be distributed February 8th and must return their ballots for anybody that's interesting by March 29th. Tallying will be held on a video live conference feed on March 30th. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure we'll cover that a little bit more as things go. And so this is now the second tech company looking. Who do you think's nice. next? Um, I think Microsoft. You will think be. Microsoft? I think will Microsoft be will, will be. But I bet you Microsoft. Uh, senior management is already re- prepared for this, so I think that they'll probably have a different spin on this and a different. Do you tactic. think they'll try to bust it or no. spy on it? Or? No, I, I don't think so. I don't. Uh, not their current leadership. Uh, previous leadership, oh heck yeah, but not with their current. You leadership. think? You think Elon's gonna gonna get? Uh, no, Elon. No, uh, Elon's in Texas now. That's why. Oh, Texas, that's right. That's right. You Story two: Privacy Focus Search Engine DuckDuckGo grew by 62% in 2020. <laughs> now, didn't we talk about this we about did. three months ago? Yeah, we talked about this because they don't track anything. They do not track anything. So if you want to be searching the web for anything, and you go to Google, you go to Bing, you go to any of these other areas, essentially all your tracking information is going to the ISP, and then which is the Internet Service Provider, so mm-hmm. Comcast, and then it's redistributed back to each of those providers. So that is correct. DuckDuckGo is now grown by 62% and in our how do I so, search the dark web. So the really nice thing about this is is that if I use Thanks David. If I use DuckDuckGo. Yep. That I'm not going to get freaking ads from all these companies that want my attention because I just was interested in something. Yeah, what was I was, I was looking at something. I was looking at generators. Last yeah. weekend I was looking at generators with my wife. And literally, as soon as I'm done, I looked at two generators uh, from Costco and a bunch of items. All of a sudden, every single commercial feed on any of the searches automatically that, had generators. That I'm drives like, un- me up the wall. I'm like, unbelievable. And then I go to bed at night. I'm scrolling through my Google searches. And literally, a generator, 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 yeah. generator. Like three of them. I got it. I got it. I guess I know. what? I, I, up the wall. I, yes. I totally get you it. You know? It's like Facebook, and you know, you click on the dating website thing just to look at it, and suddenly you've got dating website ads all over. Oh, see, I'm not dating, so I don't know about that, but I, I would believe that that would happen. Yeah. That, that makes sense. All right, story three, because we've got to move on our five minutes. Uh, our good engineer over there gave us the uh, five minute finger, so, you got, told me, yeah. so at least he didn't give me the one minute finger. So you haven't perfect. gotten the one minute finger. No, yet. that's great. So, story three. Goodbye and good riddance to the 16 by 9 aspect ratio for lovers of tall screens. It's time to be happy. Essentially, CES announcements this year, specifically as we're talking about CES moving into our next segment, uh, the wide screen laptops, which were very popular 8, 10 years ago, mm-hmm. were all 16 by 9, right? So yeah. they, they were 2 by 3, standard television size, and they went to the 16 by 9. And now the aspect ratio, essentially for the Microsoft Surface, which we both which have, we both have, it's a 3 and 2. Yeah, so, it, it, it it's a little it's a little odd it's to a tell you odd? the truth. Yeah, because I'm used to the old way, the sixteen by nine. And and when I'm looking at my when I'm looking at my surface, I actually can see the difference. It, it is, and I, I'm very excited. All the new Dell MacBooks, everything else is either looking to do a sixteen by ten ratio or a three by two. So if you had a sixteen by nine and you really love that old sixteen by nine, which I didn't, but if you do then you better start stocking up on aftermarket screens because they're not being produced by any uh, hardware manufacturers moving forward. So you're not going to be getting a a bunch of surf. No, no, I don't know. A bunch of aftermarket things. No, I'm not going to go buy 16 by nines. Absolutely (laughs) not. Well, Mike, our time is up. We got through the top stories. If you want to learn more about these, please visit us online at techtimeradio.com, where we always have the links to each of these stories listed in the facts section, so you can make sure that we're just not making up stuff, but you can read the articles themselves. Mm -hmm. Now is a great time to reach out to us on Twitter. If you go to hashtag techtimeradio, you can ask us a technology question, and we have a chance to maybe read it on the air next week and answer it. So absolutely do that. Up next, we have our special CES Best of the Best show, Once we return from our commercial break, so sit back, relax, and enjoy a little whiskey on the side. Our first guest is coming all the way from South Africa, Johannesburg. Very good. good. So we're excited about that. (laughs) Uh, I'm your host, Nathan Mum. we got Mike Warday here. Thank you guys very much. Hello, Seattle. How would you like to have immediate and easy access to your live EKG and heart rate data? Your data right at your fingertips and with no need to hook up wires and leads or be strapped to a machine at the doctor's office. The new Pulse device from Vivomi continuously tracks your EKG and displays this data on your mobile phone. 
Have you ever wondered how your EKG and heart rate behaves when you're exercising at the gym, navigating the stressful demands of the workday, or just getting the kids ready for school or relaxing at home? The Pulse a different kind of wearable, and you can experience this difference by going to www.vivomi.com and ordering your device today. Hi, this is Lisa Downs, host of Reigniting You, the show that takes a positive, forward-looking approach to mid-to-late career transitions for Gen Xers and Boomers every Wednesday afternoon at 3 o'clock Pacific. Whether you're looking to stay in the traditional workforce, do your own thing, or retire or semi-retire, Reigniting You is your source for career transition advice, inspiration, and insight for what's next in your career and life. Join me Wednesdays at 3 o'clock to get re-energized, recharged, and reignited. With Advil, you have power over pain, so the whole world looks different. The unbeatable strength of Advil. What pain? Hello, Seattle. How would you like to have immediate and easy access to your live EKG and heart rate data? Your data, right at your fingertips, brought to you by Vivomi's new Pulse wearable. And with no need to hook up wires and leads or be strapped to a machine at the doctor's office. Whether you are exercising at the gym, navigating the stressful demands of the workday, or relaxing at home, check your EKG as simply as opening an app. The Pulse, a different kind of wearable. And you can experience this difference by going to www.vivomi.com and ordering your device today. Hello, my name is Arthur, and my life's work is connecting people with coffee. Story Coffee is a small batch specialty coffee company that uses technology to connect people to each product resource, which allows farmers to unlock their economic freedom. Try our medium roast founder series coffee, which is an exotic bourbon variety that is smooth, fresh, and elegant at storycoffee.com. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Today, you can get your first bag free when you subscribe at storycoffee.com with code TECHTIME. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Is this our music? Oh, well, this is pretty good. I know. I like this music. You like this? Yeah. So uh, we had a big production meeting, and, and I get dogged in the production meetings for all the All the time. Every, every... Uh, I'm the oldest, so I like all the old stuff, but this is good, too. This is, Yeah, so we got some great uh, interns. So Tierney actually helped out with that first story, so call out to her. Good job. All right, good deal. She's and on the ball. She is on the ball, and we have great uh, production individuals that help with our show. So it's a group of six-plus people that put together a show each week that comes here. It's not just Mike and I uh, doing everything. We got... Well, um, we got Melinda with our PR and, and Josh though. and Gwen and everybody <laughs> fantastically put together the show. So, all right, Mike, during our break, we had a chance to sample our whiskey pick of the day. Yes. And we have our deliciousness in a. In are a are shot you happy glass. again? Because is this it's, two weeks in a row? It's scotch. So you, how, how can I not be? I mean, it's. It's Glen it's Levitt's. not rye. 12 <laughs> year old single malt scotch. So we still have the little bottle here, but. I, we put them into the well, cups because you were giving us a hard time thinking that we ripped well, off some. Well, yeah, I, I mean reporter. it was. You, ri- <laughs> you ripped off a micro bar. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. It came as a part of a, a selection no, like, for each of us to have it. So somebody else ripped off a micro bar yeah. and sent it to you. So this is twelve years aged, uh, Glen Levitt Distillery. It has a bourbon and European oak taste. Mm-hmm. Uh, selection of oak casts enhance the whiskey's flavor. The originals of it lie in this rich spring water drawn from Josie Well, our unique water source. Josie Well, huh? Josie Well is where and they the get outlaw the water. Josie Wales. Well, I, I don't know what Josie Well is, but you know what? I don't know. What I you absolutely mean. read what I was supposed to read. All right, so, good okay. for you. All right, well, you let's right here. That's good. Up next, we have our uh, best of the best show. We are absolutely excited about this. We're gonna uh, play right now our intro music for our CES show. This new music too. From time to time, we need to reinvent ourselves. Today, more than ever, we need to grow and adapt as people and as brands. Millions of people are impacted by the solutions we create. With products built by blending engineering, design, and innovation at scale. A dream. We are reinventing digital so you can reinvent your business. Welcome to Tech Time Radio CES. Best of the best. All right. First up is coming all the way from Johannesburg, South Africa. Yes, that's across the globe. The globe. The globe. The globe. I always have that little whiskey, and then it's a little couple slur yeah, words. Yeah, it? right. So that's that's, that's not normal for you at all. <laughs> we have many technology companies that we are going to have worldwide today on the show. But first, we have the Nomad Plug. We're going to play some music about it as we get the Nomad Plug out. 
This is Ryan Silverman, founder of the Nomad Plug. If you are tired of bulky travel adapters gathering dust in your drawer and you never know which one to use when you travel, I will be showcasing the last adapter you will ever buy, the Nomad Plug. Oh, look at that. So, all right, let's have... Uh, we have Ryan on, we, right? We have Ryan on the show. Hi, Ryan. How you doing? Hi, guys. I'm good, thanks. Thanks for having me. Yes, absolutely. So you, let me tell you, this was the... Um, at our production meeting, it was the hot item. So this, this was this was Nathan's favorite. This 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 was my oh. favorite to get right here because when I travel, every single time I travel, I lose my adapter gear. So I literally have bought at least six or seven of these things, right? And they're all these little small plugs. You get them, and then I, I think I leave them probably at the hotel. So the next person comes in there, and they're like, oh, wow. Oh, look. A, a universal an cha- a changing. So we have this plug right here, and so it bends. So when you go and actually plug it into the wall itself, whether you have European, American, you can actually then have it hang on the wall. And so you can actually plug into your devices, and it even comes with a – uh, additional module here where you can plug it in and you can get a USB C device. Yeah. So, so Ryan, tell us about your idea for the Nomad plug. What made you come up with the idea about it? Kind of, kind of go back and kind of explain to all of our listeners here what made you decide to come up with this device. Yeah, well, as you said, the inspiration was probably about three, four years ago. I bought myself a beautiful Pixel Book. And I travel frequently internationally, and I was tired of buying a new adapter in every country I landed. And, and you know, a, as you said, uh, what happened was either I would leave it at the hotel or it would land up in a bag or a drawer. And then on my next trip, I would never know which, which adapter I would need. Um, and so that was the inspiration to create uh, a device that was aesthetically pleasing. So, you know, if you're conscious about uh, the design, uh, and you wanted something to, you know, to match and be proud to carry with, you know, a, a beautiful MacBook or an iPad or a Pixelbook. Um, you could th- then just leave this device in your bag, and you would never have to worry and think about which which adapter you needed when you travel. So, so that was the inspiration behind it. All right, and so to get your product right now, you can go to nomadplug.com, right? That's correct. And you yeah. do not have this on Amazon. So this is exclusively just on your website right now for this device. Is that correct? Correct. We just just launched. Uh, we launched with the 18-watt version, which will power your mobile phone fast charge, so power delivery. Uh, and then later this year, we'll have uh, different charging. So we'll have a 30-watt version and a 65-watt version, which would power your laptop as well. Oh, cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and... This unit right here that we have, the Nomad plug that we have in here, what's your price on that on, on the website? So that's for $76. For 76 bucks. Now, let me ask you, if you buy it in the States, and so you got this over here really quickly, so it was easy to get it here, for. Uh, but he probably paid for some expensive shipping. If I ordered this today and our Tech Time Radio fans ordered the Nom- uh, Nomad, Nomad plug, plug, how long would it take for them to get it into their laptop? Not that we need to travel immediately yet, but we're hopefully going to be traveling. Are we? Are we still? Are we still on the lockdown? Yeah, we're are still. We still are well, we still, you know, we got a new we, president. Are we still in so our we corner? Know. We don't know. We got a new president, so you know yeah. things could change a little bit. Maybe they'll that, open up that, so we can travel. That doesn't travel. have anything to do with it. Okay, well, I'm, I'm hoping. Okay, so how long would it take to uh, get it delivered to uh, my house here in the states? So on average, it takes about ten days to ship it directly from our warehouse in China. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. All right. All right. Any, anything else you want to say about the Nomad plug here? Thank you very much. What time is it in Johannesburg right now? It's 2.30 a.m. Oh, my word. Thank you so <laughs> much thanks, for joining thanks us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> uh, anything else no, for, the, for our fans to, to let them know about? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the Nomad plug, there are two audiences. One is obviously the traveler, but I think number two is the digital nomad. You know, today with, with our devices, we're working from coffee shops, you know, from WeWorks, from, from uh, home. Um, so not necessarily when you travel, uh, you know, and, and if you've got a laptop, usually you have to take your power brick with you. So you can say goodbye to your power brick. Uh, you can say goodbye to, to all the different adapters you need and, and you just put this in your bag. It's about the size of a mobile phone and you're nomadic. You can work from anywhere. And, and it's so much like a transformer. You can take one part here off and <laughs> this part off. Yeah. So it's, so that's the half of it. So like, like if you're talking Was about that, that that's the, the module that you have right okay. there. All right. Well, thank you very much again for joining us. Uh, best of the best for CES. Absolutely. Everybody should take a look at this device. 
It is phenomenal, and thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, that was Ryan Silberman for, with the Nomad plug, and right up next we have a great dynamic product. This is a whole house system. So I, I we couldn't bring it into the studio because they'd have to change the plumbing within the whole. Oh, that's it, too bad. Within the whole, whole building itself. Yeah, that's that. That's that. Uh, the hydro. The hydro loop. So we got a we got a uh, little spot here, and then we're gonna have Sab Sabina that will be joining us from the group. Water. The water we have today is the water we've always had. We all need water and can't live without. Every day we use water as it is a vital condition of life. But by 2040, most of the world will not have enough. Our vision of the future? Use water twice. Hydroloop ensures perfect quality recycled water to substantially save on domestic water usage with smart and affordable water recycling products without compromising on personal hygiene or quality of life and seriously contributing to one of the greatest challenges of mankind, drastically reducing the use of water. All right, so we have, so this is, this is great. So this is Hydroloop, and uh, I believe our guest is coming to us uh, again from Europe. Uh, I don't know. Ex I, I don't. I didn't write down exactly where you where, didn't write it down. I didn't write it down. I Shall I tell you then, Nathan? Yes. yes tell what, us. Tell us. Absolutely. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and Mike. How I'm are from, you? I, I'm very well, thank you. I'm from the Netherlands. From the Netherlands. And it's okay. uh, it's about one thirty here in the morning. So one thirty. <laughs> We're trying to get through some of our European people first. So it, it's it's so <laughs> I, I get it because I'm up at, I'm up at two thirty a.m. here with. We, trying we, to trying to do stuff over there. So trying to do stuff over yeah. there. So I I got you. So I, thank I you it. very much for joining us. Uh, welcome to the program. Now it, it, let's explain how your system works. So I we, ha we had a great conversation, and I think this is fantastic. And my mm -hmm. I told my wife about this already. So explain what you guys are trying to do with the using water twice. Okay. Well, the vision is, can I just say the vision? Yep. Every building has its own gray water source, lightly contaminated water, which is from your bath, from hand washing, from air conditioning, cooling, etc. And at this moment in time, it's all going down the drain, gets transported, etc. And we're saying collect it at the building, at the source, treat it immediately, clean it, and you can reuse it again, use water twice. Uh, for these things that don't need tap water, like toilet flushing and your washing machine and stuff like that. So that's the whole idea. So what we created were an R, and you, if you have a visual, you can see behind me on, you know, you can see the Hydroloop standing there. They look a bit like a fridge, mm -hmm. so that is the size. Uh, and what it is, it, it collects the, the, the bar shower washing machine water, hand basin water, etc. It treats it, so the whole machine is, is the treatment plant. And then it disinfects the water as well, so it's clean, clear and safe and certified. And then it goes to the lower part of the system, that is the storage. And of course it has a very high-tech computer. And then from there on everything is distributed to the toilets, to the garden, to the swimming pool, wherever the water is reused for. And this way you almost, you know, you reduce your water consumption with 45%. And you also reduce your wastewater, you know, uh, your wastewater emission with 45%. You're reducing your carbon footprint, you're saving energy. So uh, as you can see, I'm quite excited about our product, but, you know, it makes a big difference, you know, it's got a purpose. So how much does a unit cost for your house? So if I'm doing new construction, uh, it's, yeah. it's probably the easiest way to do this, but otherwise I'm going to have to tear up some walls well, at my yeah. house. That, that would be the yeah. next question. Yeah, so how much is the unit that cost and, and, and how does it actually work with some of those uh, piping issues that, that I just talked about. Yeah, well, new construction is easiest, of course. Um, then it's only a couple of hundred dollars to, to have the plumbing, as we call it, recycle ready. And we're actually aiming for that all new construction because you're building for the future. And, you know, this water crisis isn't something that is, you know, it's actually in our own backyards, you know. And, uh, I mean, Mike, you're from Arizona, so it should, you know, ring a bell uh, with you as well. Yes. And so it's it's Absolutely. everywhere, you know, and it's it's getting worse with two billion more people on the planet. So new construction is easy, it's cheap, because then you can do the plumbing the correct way, and it's just a little different than the other way. And if it's a uh, and, and sorry, the system itself is four. Th it starts from four thousand uh, dollars ex shipping, and we're actually starting to deliver this year, uh, second quarter. 
Uh, first, I have to just check in which areas we are going to. Florida, Texas, Arizona, Nevada, California. Those are the first areas because there is most urgent that we will be delivering and installing. For any existing building, you know, at some point in time, you're going to redo your bathroom or you're going to do some, you know, some kind of major, you know, construction work. That will be the right moment to install your decentral water recycling system. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, she she mentioned Arizona because of the the impact to the aquifers and stuff, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, ground levels, water levels are, are, are depleting, and we've been pumping it up for twenty, you know, for for many, many years, and uh, so now salty water is is coming into our grounds. We're, I don't want to be. It it isn't well, you know. It sounds a bit doom and gloom, but we can do something about it. This is the beauty, you know. And what we're doing with our products is, you know, we empower people and organisations to just not wait until government is doing or demanding something. But we actually empower people themselves to say, hey, you know, this is what I want to do. You can buy it. You know, you can buy it from us online and we ship it to your home. And all installation videos are online. So your local plumber can, can install it for you. And that's it. And you won a CES award last year. Was it like best invention or what, what was your CES awards? That oh, we, you won? we won four. 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 Oh. Sorry. Sorry. We, four yeah, get, it, get it right, man. I, I, sorry. Four oh, awards. Come on. Yeah, no, no, it, no. Okay, so we started off with best, uh, uh, best, best of innovation uh, for sustainability, eco design, and smart energy. So we actually thought that was it, and then we came to the show, which was amazing. And then um, and Gadget nominated us for uh, best startup company, best sustainable product, uh, and then we won those. And then we also won the best of the best. So we beat everybody. And it was so cool, and I was so grateful because, you know, uh, that sustainability was so so hot uh, in Vegas, and I know, I know it still is, and it should be as well yeah. because all the gadgets are fantastic. You know, <laughs> they're nice to have, but but tech should also be for a purpose. I believe. Absolutely. You know, we should mm -hmm. do it for something good, Absolutely. and it can still look fantastic. You know, it can still look design, and uh, yeah. So that's Hydroloop. So thank Hydroloop. you so much for joining us. Uh, we will absolutely have our link to information on our show, so make sure everybody checks that out. And hopefully now you can get some rest and, and go to sleep. And uh, thank you I very will. much yeah. for joining Thanks us. Thanks, Sabine. And yes. thank you so much for having me. Yes, thank no you very problem. much. Now thank we're you. Now we're going immediately to the Bay Area. So we're coming back oh, here. We're state coming side. back here. We're coming States. back. And we are That's one of my favorite places. The Bay Area? The Bay Area. I, I like the Bay Area. I wouldn't live there, though. It's uh, too expensive. Is it too expensive? <laughs> it's too expensive. Okay, and so we're going to go to Cradle Wise, all right? Cradle Wise. Cradle Wise, the world's first self-learning crib that bounces your baby to sleep. The crib is your baby's sleep guardian, newborn to toddler. It has a built-in smart baby monitor. It knows when your baby is about to wake up. If it is still sleeping time, the crib bounces your baby and plays soothing music back to sleep. It gets your baby back to sleep automatically. All right, so we have Cradle Y. So this is, I don't have kids, but if I had well, kids. Well, you have kids. You well, just, I have kids. They're just, just, they're just older. Yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah, I mean, I have kids too, and they're, they're I'm, just I'm really hating life that I didn't have this product when I was, when they were. Oh, well, so am I. Kids. So am I, because I had to get up. Because we used to take them and put them in the car and drive them I had the wind-up swings. You remember the wind-up swings yeah. you had to deal with? I didn't have any automatic stuff. It was the wind-up, and if you did it too loud with the crank, then all of a sudden they'd wake up, and then it's like, oh, horrible. So you, Try to do it. We but, just drove them around. But now we them. have a solution. We have Cradle Wise, and so we have uh, Red Hickey, the owner of the and the creator of Cradle Wise, coming onto the show, and hopefully she's going to kind of show us a little bit about this great, amazing device. So why don't you tell us a little bit about Cradle Wise, and if you want to give us a little demonstration, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Hi, Nathan, and hi, Red. I'm sorry, I'm like two decades late to uh, get this invention out. <laughs> I know it would have helped your babies. So, hi, I'm Radhika, co-founder, CEO at Cradlewise. Uh, this is an invention. This is a smart crib invented by me for my baby when she was uh, just born in 2014. And now it's my venture. It's We are husband, wife, co-founders, and we have invented the smart crib. Uh, the smart crib is for the minimalist parent who thinks that you don't need 200 items in your baby registry before you get the baby home safely. It's all in one solution. You have 
the baby monitor here. There is a bassinet. So currently, as you can see, it's in the bassinet mode yep. here. And when the crib, when the bed draw, drops down, it becomes a crib. So you have a monitor, a bassinet, and a crib all in one. The modern day baby monitors, they just tell you that uh, your baby has woken up. And then you go running from your kitchen or your office room to the baby's room. And then you spend at least 30 to 45 minutes in feeding and soothing the baby back to sleep. And this happens like at least 10 to 12 times in the day and over the night. So parents easily end up spending three to four hours in soothing the baby back to sleep. So what CradleWise does is the monitor, which is here, it can exactly look at the baby and sense the first signs of wake up. It spots movements, eyes opening up, sounds, and even relative breath rate. It understands all of these and predicts wake up and starts bouncing along with soothing music to put the baby back to sleep. Okay. So that's what CradleWise does. It's, it's, it's helping your baby go back to sleep and also preventing unscheduled wake-ups. And this design is uh, the complete technology has been designed by us, uh, myself and my co-founder. And we have had designers from Sweden who actually did this beautiful minimalist uh, design with no slats because uh, when we started, we were like, hey, all the cribs are a copy of a copy of a copy, the same old or at least a century old design where all the cribs have the slats which look make it look like a jail so we have designed it which is more beautiful looking that can go well in your nursery with the aesthetics of the nursery and yes the result is cradle wise we have won the time best inventions of 2020 we're the top 100 inventions by the time magazine that's right by time magazine that's so good. this, so this is phenomenal. So you don't have to worry about the uh, slots like in Back to the Future, where the, I, I don't know. I kind of like looking at my kid behind bars. Did you? <laughs> did you like doing that's that? That's just me. <laughs> well, the best thing about the Cradle Wise is that you can actually it self bounces. So what you do is you it, you just nudge it, and it will. Do you want to show it? Can you nudge it there yes. and show it? So yes. this is the best yes. part. Forget the whole cranking of the thing. You yeah. touch it, and right. it goes up and down. And it just right. it just goes back and forth, so your baby can fall right back to sleep. So and, you could literally have your kid in there and on, twenty-four right. by seven. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, right. that's what I would have wanted. So but. the way to stop it is you can just hold your hand, and it will stop bouncing. So because you don't want to be, uh, you'll be hands full, and you don't want to you know search your smartphone at three a.m. in the morning. So we have made it gesture enabled, and now you give it a push, and it starts bouncing. And that is Cradle Wise. Cradle so wise. if you go and visit CradleWise.com, you're going to have to get on the pre-order because you guys are already booked up until about July. Is that right? June or July for orders now? Right, right. So we are open for pre-orders on our website and the deliveries begin in July of 2021. We are currently delivering in the Bay Area till July, but Pan US and Canada, the orders are going to be uh, delivered from July of 2021. So anybody in the first, second and almost just beginning of third trimester can order their cradle wise on our website nice do you, do you have data that tells you about how much longer it extends the baby sleep time by oh yes we have had we have like 5000 yeah. yes we have 5000 hours of sleep recorded in cradle wise and what we see is the average onset of sleep once the baby wakes up is eight minutes and we have babies sleeping from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. with two to three wake ups for a feed. So that's what parents are saying that they are saving at least two hours per day because of cradle wise. Yeah, that's important. That's huge. <laughs> that's huge. When that's you're, huge, right? When you're, when you're having a newborn. Oh, I remember those nights too. Well, that, but <laughs> here's my favorite thing. It's just do this little nudge. Honey, yeah, I, I, hear, I hear, I think the baby's, no. Uh-huh. So. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very yeah. much for joining thank us. Thank you so much. Have a great yes, day. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thank you. All right. So speaking of my wife. Oh, it's, uh, it's the Tony box. So we have coming on up. You guys are going to absolutely want to get back to us because we have my favorite, my favorite event. You can listen to all your Disney favorites on the Tony box. So. We're going to go on out to commercial break. We'll see you guys right back here with part two of our CES special.
Hey, Mike. Yeah, man, what's up? Hey, have you ever had any deadbeat roommates? Oh, yeah, way back in college, in the good old days. In the good old days? Did they even have electricity back then? Yeah, except we used wax tablets. Okay, all right. Well, Nutility is the utility platform that makes utility management seamless by selecting your service provider, splitting a single bill amongst roommates, and then shutting off your service when it's time for you to move out. So they they shake down my roommates instead of me? Well, did you ever have a problem with your roommates? Doesn't everybody? You know, Jeff, if you're out there. Nutility reviews your preference and sets up all the utilities for you. Kind of like selecting a power provider that gives you the best price and then splitting it between your roommates. Roommates. So no more Venmo charges passed around the house or having to ask Lazy Larry to get his payment in for the utilities this month. Well, that's nice. It is nice. And not only is it nice, but as a Tech Time Radio listener, you can get your first three months for free at utility.com when you use the code TECH3. Again, go to utility.com. That's N-U-T-I-L-I-T-I. Sounds like utility, but it's nutility.com to get your first three months for free using the code TECH3. Hi, this is Lisa Downs, host of Reigniting You, a new show here on KKNW that explores a variety of topics and timely issues for making mid to late career transitions. I'll be here every Wednesday afternoon at 3 o'clock bringing you guest interviews, career transition advice, and great stories to guide you to what's next in your career and life. Gain a renewed sense of purpose for your next phase with a positive, forward-looking approach. Get ready to be re-energized, recharged, and reignited Wednesdays at 3 o'clock. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's happening? Hey, have you heard of podcorn? Yeah, I eat it every night when I watch a movie. No, not popcorn. Podcorn. Podcorn Podcorn.com. Podcorn. Uh, Yeah, I I think I've heard of them. You know, when we started out our podcast, there was no podcorn. So what do we have to do, Mike? Cook it ourselves. No, not popcorn. Podcorn. So you have a uh, podcast called What Drives You, right? I do. Have you gone and signed up to use Podcorn? I have. And what is your experience using Podcorn to help advertise your show? It's fantastic. All right. And what is your experience as a brand new podcaster? Well, I I have just done it. It's pretty easy. I'm really excited to see what happens. That's great. So if you're starting a podcast, absolutely go and visit podcorn.com forward slash podcasters. And if you want to advertise with Podcorn, there's also an opportunity to go to podcorn.com and you can sign up so that you can have great podcasts talk about your products. Go and visit https forward slash podcorn.com. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Have you heard about 180 Consulting? No. I love these guys. You know how much I avoid working with copy vendors, right? Uh, actually, I get to hear about it all the time. Not anymore, because guess what? The guys at 180 Consulting took over the entire process. They assessed our needs, worked directly with the vendors on my behalf, and helped us understand our option. No sales fluff, just good information so we can make the right decision. Well, that sounds good. How do they get paid? Their only compensation comes from a small share of the cost savings they create. They work for us, and it's a win-win. You know, that sounds like a no-brainer. There's two ways to reach them. You can get them at info at 180-consulting.com or visit them online at www.180-consulting.com. www.180-consulting.com. Thank you, Mike. 180-consulting.com. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. Is that new music too? Yep. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mum. How you doing, Mike? I'm pretty good. How's the whiskey? That the whiskey is really good. It's fantastic. The Glenn I'm, Levitt's I'm, I'm 12. I, I don't want to say what I'm going to do, but I think I'm going to give it a thumbs up 100%. Yeah. I don't okay. want to say that because that's, you're, I think that's you just the did. end of that. No, I, I may change my mind because that's yeah, the end of our show. Not yet to, happen. All right. <laughs> We're going to continue on our CES Best of the Best segment, and let me just tell you about this. Young minds and ears in the United States can immerse themselves in the magical world of Tony's, the original award-winning screen-free audio entertainment system designed specifically for children ages three and older, and absolutely older, because I like uh, You've been playing with I've this been thing playing the with whole, a lot, the whole week. Currently the fastest-growing toy company in, Euro- in Europe, Tony's have made their stateside debut. Meet the Tony Box, a screen-free, imagination-building listening experience for kids ages 3 and up. The Tony Box comes to life the moment you place one of our magnetic, collectible Tony figurines on top of the box. 
Each Tony contains their own songs to sing, stories to tell, and worlds to explore. Tony's. One little box. Countless big adventures. All right, and welcome to the show. We have Melissa, head of the community and partnership at Tony's USA. The Tony Box is amazing and a great product that everyone should have at their home for their children's growing uh, ability to not have a screen. We're going to have Melissa join us on the show. Welcome, Melissa. Hi. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Mike. How are you? Fine. How are you? We're doing fantastic. Let me tell you, this thing, this thing, uh, my wife is a preschool teacher. Nathan Nathan has, has had it all week and... Has has been very entertained. I've been it. singing the Monopoly accent, the Lion King song, and I play at the car singing that little. Uh, I, we, we got this, and it has a little uh, Elsa thing in there, so I, I did not put an Elsa on you there. You didn't put but Elsa? The best part is, is they have this device. Well, I don't want to steal your thunder, Melissa, but they have this device that you can essentially put like 90 minutes of audio on. So essentially, what I could do is I could put a whole Tech Time radio episode, and then I put the uh, uh-huh. on there, and I could hear yeah, there it. We but go. We need a mic action that's, figure. That's there you go. But you know what? That didn't happen. My wife brought home all of her iPod music and says you need to transfer this all over. So tomorrow, oh, okay. while I'm watching football, I'm going to be adding a. Home You're going to be media playing with it. Oh, next she loves this meeting. thing. She loves it. So, explain to us, Melissa, the Tony Box, and kind of give us a little bit of information besides uh, all my glowing, gushing reviews and, uh, and playing around with it. Tell us a little bit about, about the box. Sure. I'd be happy to. So this is the Tony Box right here. And the Tony Box is a screen-free listening device for young children, um, as you said, as young as three and up. And or it's, Nathan's age. Or <laughs> yeah. three and up goes yeah. to 100, yeah. 103. Yeah, perfect. Um, not that you're 103. No. Um, but so it's designed for screen-free listening. And actually, I'd love to tell you about the origins of the product. This was actually started by two dads in Germany. So the company is German. And in 2014, they actually met through their children's preschool. And the teacher was still playing um, nursery rhymes on CDs for the children. And this is 30 years after the CD player was invented. Um, so quite, quite antiquated technology. And the teacher didn't have any other device to sort of play songs for the kids. And they said, we can do better than this. And they set out to design the Tony box. So they spent about two years developing it. And the prototype they developed looks very similar to how the Tony box looks today. And when the Tony box is paired with um, one of our Tonys. Hey, it's Woody. Yep. It shares songs and stories, including from favorite characters like Woody here. And if I remove it from the box, it's gonna stop playing. All of the functions of the box are really designed for a very young child. So besides being screen free, what's really key about this product is that it promotes independent play. <laughs> you're laughing. Ever- Why are you laughing, Mike? I'm laughing because you you're like the kid. I know. I've been I love playing this. with this thing. I've, uh, you, hey, we okay. spent fifteen minutes playing with this we, at the production we, meeting. We did, we did. So, sorry, sorry, Melissa. Keep on going, keep on going. No sorry. Worries. I mean, if you've ever, your wife obviously is a preschool teacher, if you've ever spent time with three and four year olds, independent play is not something that always comes naturally. And they're often really in need of a lot of supervision and a lot of guidance. And with this, a young child takes it. It's all very intuitive. I want to switch the track. I just smack it. Little ones are good at that. Being rough with it works really well. It's going to cycle through the songs. It's tough being a toy. And then it's going. This one's oh, going sure. to share a story like as well. I can hang it upside down. To it it's magneted on. Um, in it. terms of the technology, it's um, reading an RFID chip that's in the Tonys. The Tonys are all handcrafted and hand painted in Tunisia, so they're quite beautiful little collectibles on their own. And when it's paired with the box, that's where the magic happens. Um, but to your point, Nathan, earlier, the other type of Tonys we have are called creative Tonys, and it's like this guy right here. And the Creative Tonys, um, one comes with every every box when you first purchase it, and it's a 90-minute blank. So using our My Tonys app, um, you can record anything you want onto that, like an episode of Tech Time Radio could Absolutely. go on there. And we actually um, have a program. Yeah. <laughs> or a Christmas show. We have a program called Tonys for Teachers. So actually a lot of early childhood educators like your wife are using this um, for center times in preschools or for other activities. I use it kind of for my daughters too and I use it to remind her about bedtime and snack time and different moments throughout the day. Um, What's actually really amazing about this product right now, especially during COVID, is so many family members can't be together. A lot of grandparents are separated from their grandchildren and the Creative Tonys are a really phenomenal way to connect families. So basically when you have the My Tonys app, you can invite anyone to your household, including a grandparent or a relative who could be in another state or even another country. 
and they can record themselves reading a special story to their grandchild, for example, a bedtime story or any kind of special message. So it's a really phenomenal way for, for people to stay connected during COVID as well. It's great. Absolutely phenomenal. And you can get this on Amazon. Uh, you can get this. Uh, where, where can you purchase one of these today? So we're available on our own site, Tony's.com. And actually, for anyone interested in purchasing today, we have a code PARTNER10 that'll get you 10% off your starter set. We're also available on Amazon.com, Target.com, and we're in 350 or more specialty retailers around the U.S., like the Learning Express Toy Group and the Good Toy Group as well. Perfect. Thank you very much for joining sure. our program. Next up, we are going to bring somebody in from Italy. Fantastic. So thank you, Melissa. We're going to be talking about the Tata Baby Alarm. Welcome to our product, the Tata Pad. With three alarm levels, it is simple to use and set up. Simply install the two batteries into the unit and put the pad down in your car seat. Yes, it is that simple. The Tata Pad is the first baby car reminder cushion with smart alarms built into the cushion on the market. In case you leave your car while your child is still in the seat, you will get warning reminders at three different levels. First, by notification. Second, by a phone call. And third, as your final alert you will get a phone call and a text message to your emergency contacts. To learn more visit GetMyTata.com. Again that is, GetMyTata.com. And learn more about our great product. All right, we have Rudolf Jantus joining us all the way from Italy on the Tata pad. Uh, how are we doing today, sir? We're doing really well. Thank you for having me, Nathan and Mike. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's talk about the Tata pad, and we got about three minutes here to, to get through this. This, oh, is, yeah. <laughs> this is a smart device, and specifically, what's your target market for this device itself? This, is, uh, this target device is basically for um, zero to four-year-olds, well, parents with zero to four-year-olds. Uh, and uh, it is a safety device that helps uh, parents uh, to, in an event, we, you know, we're trying to avoid that the, there's a phenomenon going on uh, across, um, across the states and also in Europe, where uh, parents, sadly, uh, there's a case that, that uh, children being left in the car. This, of course, is uh, not. We're not. We're not going after parents that um, I say uh, they're not being careful enough, or, or what? What else? But um, it has been uh, quite a big number. So in the last 20 years, around 800 kids have been left in the car. Uh, so uh, left in the car to die, actually. <laughs> so I, we really are um, providing a solution here to save lives. And our Tata Pad, which is uh, currently what, uh, um, yep, what you got in your hand, and what I'm showing here on the screen, and uh, which we currently launched last year uh, in Italy, and we have been uh, we launched it in Italy because there's a mandatory law now in Italy from last March in 2020 to have a anti-abandonment device. So this is a basically a, a safety solution in the car in the car seat. And uh, we are planning to launch this year in the States where uh, statistically, not statistically, the numbers are way bigger and the problem is way bigger. And we're, we're looking to launch as quick as possible uh, across the States with our Tata Band, which we presented this year at CES 20, 2021. And we've won uh, two awards. I haven't mentioned that to Nathan yet. We won uh, the Twice Pick, uh, Pick Awards Perfect. for innovation. And we won also Editor's Choice Awards from USA Today for Parenting uh, Solution. So a solution for parents. Perfect. Which, uh, and how can I, I how can I how can I get one of these? At the moment, we are uh, preparing our launch in the states. We actually, uh, I, I'm looking out. I'm the head of B two C marketing for Tata, which uh, is our product. Philo is our company, and uh, we're looking for distributors online and offline. But we should be launching hopefully uh, later in the summer. Uh, obviously, starting with our site and also Amazon. But we're, we, we believe uh, this product has to be also near to uh, where parents actually buy their other um, uh, car, well, near to car seats where where they're sold. So we're looking for partnerships uh, to distribute uh, the solution uh, even in retail sh uh, stores. Yeah. So if we wanted to find out more information and we wanted to invest in it, we go to tata.com. Is that correct? No, our website is uh, getmytata.com. 
Get my Tata. T A T A dot com. Exactly. Get my Tata. It's okay. basically a, a an action. <laughs> an action. So that is fantastic. So this, if you ever left your kid in your car, this will have three levels of alerting as it talked about. So it gives you an alert to the person. The second alert goes to contacts in person, and the third one will be making phone calls. So we phone appreciate you contacts, yeah. absolutely joining us for Tech Time Radio. Uh, we will have links for this product online, and if you want to learn more about distribution, we'll make sure that's taken care of. So thank oh, you for joining well us. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Mike. Yes, thank you very much. All right, so we have Phil, who we did not get to, who I will talk to offline from Morpheus Tech about thermal cameras. And we will get him on next week's episode to continue on. As we as we thought six would be just enough, it was six was too plenty. much. Too much. So, Phil, thank you very much for uh, uh, being here. We'll talk to you offline. I'm sure Melinda will reach out to you. Whiskey, thumbs up, thumbs down. Fantastic. I think we gave it two thumbs up. Mike, what did you think of the program today? Great. Great. Our CES reviews. Everybody, make sure you have a chance to take a look at them. We appreciated you guys for joining our show. We will have some additional CES people coming up in shows as we continue on and as we have more guests be a part of Tech Time Radio. So I am Nathan Mum. We got Mike Gorday. We got David behind the board. They did a fantastic job making sure all those people got taken care of. And we will see you guys next week. Remember, Mum's the word. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us on Tech Time Radio. We hope that you had a chance to have that hmm moment today in technology. The fun doesn't stop there. We recommend that you go to techtimeradio.com and join our fan list for the most important aspect of staying connected and winning some really great monthly prizes. We also have a few other ways to stay connected, including subscribing to our podcast on any podcast service from Apple to Google and everything in between. We're also on YouTube, so check us out on youtube.com slash tech time radio all one word we hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did making it for you from all of us at tech time radio remember mum's the word have a safe and fantastic week Welcome, Tech Time Radio YouTubers. Congratulations to you. We have now moved into a new level of YouTube, enabling us to have supporters of our show. That's right. Not only can you subscribe, but now you can be a supporter. For $9.99 a month, you can be a part of learning what happens behind the scenes with undisclosed footage, some errors that we make here and there, some pre-show stuff, some after the show information. You even may get to join Mike and I at the after show dinner and where we talk about the show itself. This unseen footage is only available to our supporters. For $9.99 a month, you can gain access to that. Now on our second level, we're gonna be talking about being a part of the show. For $24.99, you can actually be a part of the show. What does that mean? That means Tuesday nights, that's when we do our production show meeting. You can hang out with the producers, Mike, myself, interns, as we all go through the actual show process. From talking about the previous week's episode, dissecting it into segments that worked, didn't work, what we need to improve on, you can sit back, listen, to the funniness that we have. Now we recommend this to be 18 and older. Uh, there's nothing that we do on there that's inappropriate, but we do drink whiskey during the show, production show itself, and we talk about topics that uh, want to engage our audience or not engage our audience. So it's absolutely something that you'd want at that level. Now, let's say you really wanna be a part of the show and you wanna be a producer. We now have the opportunity for you to be a producer of Tech Time Radio. Yes, for $49.99 a month, you can actually, instead of just being a part of the show, you can actually sit in the production meetings, 
actively act as the production meeting individual, come up with segments, come up with ideas and bounce them off of everybody at the production company itself. We have four producers that are a part of the show. We have a couple interns. This would be an ability for you to actually be edited as credit production for a part of our team. Maybe you want to come in and take a look at what it's like behind the scene during our StreamYard uh, streams of the show itself. You can even be a part of that so you can actually take a look at what it is to have David behind the board, Mike and I during commercial breaks, and how we prep for the program. That's $49.99 a month, $49.99 a month to be a part of our producer show. Now, all of these comes, of course, with some loyalty badges that we'll have, some custom emojis that we're going to put in so when we do a premiere or if you're doing any posting as a member uh, of supporter in our program itself, you get access to those items also. We would like to see you be a part of the show. Let us know how we can help you guys out, and please subscribe today. Thank you.